Now, guys, this next piece of news right here came out the week before, but I still want to talk about it because I really did like the first film and I like Michael B. Jordan. And so that brings us to the second topic right here. And he's not going to be in this one. But uh, Chronicle 2 will be set 10 years after the original and the main characters will be women. Um, again, hey. I'm, and, and again, I'm, <laughs> this is a <laughs> uh, article from uh, Slash Film. And guys, if you're watching this via live or in the replay, um, there is a link down to this article down in the description box. And just let me grab this uh, super chat real quick. Uh, underdog Danny 499. My brothers love what you guys do from the underdog. Thank you so much, my brother. Um, I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, with this right here, man, uh, I love the first film. Um, this was when I think for most people, when Michael B. Jordan uh popped up on the scene, and um, I loved him in this, um, and I love the premise, but I don't want to spoil the first movie, but I don't think these guys are coming back. But basically, we're getting a sequel to this right here, and it will be all women. And Chronicle was literally the best return on investment any uh, any of my movies ever made. Chronicle, we did it for twelve million, and it grossed one hundred and twenty six million worldwide. Then it then it had a huge afterlife in syndication. It's one of the most financially successful movies in my stable, and um, that's the producer John St uh, Davis making those comments. He also elaborated on the direction of the sequel. We're working on Chronicle 2 right now, and I think it's going to be great. We're working on it at Fox 20th Century Studios. It's going to give us a chance to tell the story in a different way. We're going to tell it from the female point of view. It will have been 10 years since the event happened in Seattle, and a lot is going on to deal with fake news and real news and cover-ups. More interestingly, it's the next generation getting these powers that are corruptive. Um, these are young women just finishing college. They are empowered, and this is their journey. I mean, what a new and interesting story you can tell there. That last thing you said, a new interesting story. If it's a new story, I'm down. But if this is just a repeat of the first film, just right. women, that's not that interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And so um, I don't also I don't know how they're going to film it, because nine, ten years ago that it was found footage and that was really popular back then. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that will you know hold over now. Uh, but how are you feeling about all this? I mean, look, uh, you know, and I said this on my channel, like I, I'm a little tired of the whole announcements of, you know, the perspectives and stuff all the time. Like if it happened to just be women, just let it be. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, let me know what the story is. Now, um, if I could put my little producer creative hat on, you're right. Uh, the found footage stuff is kind of played out like that was the whole Blair Witch thing and then some. Mm -hmm. But what I would like to see is something like um, the movie Searching. Uh, if you haven't seen Searching, that movie is one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. And it was completely done. I'm not saying Chronicle has to go this way. I missed that it, one. Oh, you missed a treat. This was one of the mm. rare movies. I've never really done this as much. I don't give out perfect tens, but I did on this one. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Like it is completely done via phone, text, webcam. I am webcam. Like you never see first person, you know, shots or secondary shots or anything. It is the editing is a masterful, the tension, all of that. So if they want to go a new route that way, you know, where maybe um this is all coming from like webcams or phone footage or something like that, just a different modern way, I'd be down for that. But uh I'm yeah. with you. I don't need a rehash of everything, but you know, there's room to in to uh improve it if possible. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The new Chronicle uh, film sounding kind of woke. <laughs> I, I'll give you that, Elizabeth. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, get these super chats. They just coming in. I don't want to miss. Okay, I got an underdog. So we got uh, Mr. John Allum, uh, 499. You got your guy's thoughts on live action Avatar, uh, The Last Airbender cast. Um, I thank you for the super chat. I would love a la uh, another Last Airbender uh, live action Avatar, live action Avatar, The Last Airbender. Um, as far as cast, I don't really care. Um, the Have you first, seen them? The what? They the, released them. Oh, this this is an announcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, oh. they, yeah, they released it. Um, oh, well, go ahead. The, drop, drop, I mean, it, ahead drop. look, it's nobody you've seen before. You know, it's a bunch of young actors or whatever. I'll just say that they do look close enough to the part. 
Um, and because they're kind of like not really well known, hey, you know, it, it's kind of like all y'all could do is go up, right? So um, it's an interesting, you know, set of uh, interesting cast. Um, and I think there's potential for it to be good. Well, hey, uh, I, the first uh, movie was a 10 years ago with uh, M. Night was trash. Oh, oh yeah. It's a trash. Super booty, trash. Garbage. So, yeah, man. Booty, trash. Nasty. Yeah. Great uh, description. Yeah. Um, so if they're going to be doing another one, I'm down. Yeah. Uh, other super chat. And uh, they're actually Asian. So, you know. Oh, that man. Also helps. That's, yeah. You know, <laughs> very, very much so. Right. Uh, Jaheim, again, you think they'll reveal the fantastic forecasting during the event in November? I doubt it. Uh, if we were in like normal non-pandemic times, maybe. But there's just too many unknowns right now. People getting sued out the wazoo. So um, it definitely will get people excited, but I'm, I'm not going to count it. I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, I don't know what you think, E-Man. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, the only reason Disney would ever announce cast is if that cast is or that cast member is going to pop up somewhere else earlier than their movie so right. for example they announced you know chadwick boseman uh as t'challa um you know but it was like so that he could appear in uh civil war you know they announced him in 2014 so they could show him in 2016 so um same well they didn't announce jonathan uh, majors but the news came out but that was really so that they could be like oh by the way he's gonna be in loki you know say so even though his main appearance is gonna be in uh, uh ant-man 3 so uh, if they do that it 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 would have to be for something that they're going to be doing sooner than mm -hmm. later right now i don't think so but anything could happen Right on, right on. And pound the payment, five dollars. It was a solid found footage origin story. Yes, it was. It yep. was. Yes, it was pound the payment. And thank you so much, my brother, uh, for that super chat. I do appreciate it. And they should have made this sequel a long time ago. I mean, twelve million dollars, right. and we went over it one twenty six worldwide. Yep. Uh, so that's a hell of a killing right there. And it was. I mean, everybody liked it. So yep. I don't know what they're doing, but they should have. Uh, they should have got on that money. A long time ago so again guys if you're watching this right now via live or in the replay uh let us know there, i mean there's a link of that down in the description box below uh for the article and so it's for you to read at your own leisure and again just let us know what you think in the comment section